with some timely hacks. It's now being recommended that everyone should cover their face when venturing outside, even if you don't have a mask. You can create a face covering with... The mayors of New York and Los Angeles are urging all residents to cover their mouths and noses, reversing previous guidelines. This will be the look. But with a nationwide shortage of hospital masks, what should you do? Any type of cloth around the face can offer some degree of protection. A head covering, like a scarf or bandana, also works in a jam. Making a mask at home can be easy, and you probably have everything you need in your house. For example, the first thing you need is a piece of cloth. I use a dinner napkin and two types of elastic ties, like a hair tie, or I use a rubber band. The most important thing is, is that we think about this from kind of a public health standpoint, um, is not spreading the virus because so many people are very, very likely out there that are asymptomatic or have very mild symptoms and don't know they have it. Dr. Ryan Southworth's wife actually made a mask out of a vacuum cleaner bag. Because it traps 99.9% .9 of dust and pollen. Other innovative hacks are popping up on social media. This woman shares her tips on how to make a mask out of a paper towel, stapling hair ties to the sides. I gave it a try with a scarf. You take the rubber bands about a third of the way in on each side. Then you take the two edges and you bring them in. You just need it to cover your mouth and your nose. Simple solutions as we all do our part to stop the spread of COVID-19. Coronavirus concerns have resulted in real...